Hello guys, in this tutorial we are gonna take a look on how we can create stunning volumetric light and fog in Blender. So let's get started. So here in this scene I have this wall and I have created this groove from which the light will pass and this ground and a monkey and a sphere and nothing special. So I have this one area light above for some lighting here. Okay, so I'll add in a light in this groove. So let's go here and press shift right click and add in a light and add in an area light okay so let's rotate it so press r x and 90 and let's press r z and 180 okay right so let's move it here and let's scale it down on the x-axis and scale up on the z-axis okay so let's go to camera view and let's go to render view okay so let's increase the power to 1000 or let's say 10,000 okay so 10,000 is fine so now what we have to do is that uh, there are two ways to add in volumetric lights the first one is that you can add in a volume scatter node to the world and the another way is that you can add in a volume scatter node to an object so let's add in a cube first so let's go to add mesh and add in a cube turn on overlays and scale it all the way up till it curves the camera and let's go to material properties add in a new material and go to volume and add in a volume scatter node okay so let's go to rendered view as you can see the volume density is very higher so let's set, set that to 0.1 okay so now as you can see we are having some volume in our scene so let's decrease the volume to let's say 0 0.05 okay now we are getting so much fog and volume in our scene and one another trick i have to tell you is that uh, let's go to render render settings and let's go to volume and by default it is set to 1024 and if you render at this max steps you will find that uh, it will take so much time in rendering i think one or two hours so while rendering you will have to set this to a lower number like uh, 100 or 500 as you wish okay so let's take a look at this anisotropy setting if you decrease its value it will give a darker result i guess uh, the volume will be gathered at the darkest part of the scene and if you increase its value all the way up it the volume will collect at the brightest part of the scene so let me show you one cool trick so if you set the density to 0.1 and the anisotropy to 0.95 so now as you can see it is giving very cool results so that's it guys if you like this video hit that like button and consider subscribing for more great content and i'll see you in the next video goodbye